Liquid has been five minutes. Let worth. us fight! Not all. Really, it also it always works well when you have something. Yes. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Run Some away. Mail needs to get the heck out of Dodge, but everybody's there. Three people hit by the LSA, but Nisha right on top takes the chain to dispose. It's off weird. So that means that Sania that has to take the first blood. What is this? Are off to the races. 30 seconds to battle. Probably trying to get both. Sania. Hey, it's okay giving him blood. He owned anyway last Okay, so adjustment. This is the way that I think I've seen Nigma actually play. Bottom, there's the battle begins. I mean, so uh, struggling in these other ways, the avenue that try and find success is. Made. Oh, I'm snow. Success, but direction of lift. Mar running. Off again. Remember, and you can see actually a lot sticking together, and they're gonna send their heroes try lane two. They're just swapping, they're just sending the Rubik TA versus the Tide. They want to oh, have this matchup and sending the Tusk Mag. <laughs> Should be a good start there. Shade in searing heat. Okay. Liquid adapting it. Say next up top on the box. You are too slow. Chop it. I... In a lot of ways, I feel like this is elastic. What... Captured in the flame. Plays happen, but then also kind of get some value out of the power. Yeah, I, I I really like it. Yeah, just backline jump also. Paddle, Marcy, Lena, these heroes. A lot of chaos gonna be scaling potential. Like that's something. Dominating map, and then they have one fight. And you're like, yep, well, they have a double and a tricor. Yeah, let's see if the Charlene works. Start from Sumail. Upstart has, oop, they get the grab Zai. Man, LSA connects, and in some trouble, Zai going to go down. Go for Sumail. Falcon Blade already done. You need to get these type of kills in the top lane. You need to try to be as efficient as possible because you're playing tri lane, so you're splitting XP, so you have to get these kills. Reaction. Wow. Definitely. Yeah, they're gonna pick up top now. Uh, MC hadn't really been punished at all. Boxy. Now, if Boxy's in trouble too, trouble, but Whoa. the skewer pull away. So I think that was. A good yeah, that looked a little weird. I think Zai was trying to pull. I was about to say, they have safe play advantage just to uh, lift plus skewer, so... We'll see there from Zion, they'll lose Boxy. Hot. Um, okay, and now... Uh, connection. Well, I mean... What is that they can hope? Get off. Uro trying to contest. Get the rebound connection. Dispose pulls back in. LSA gonna connect on to Zai. Now in a lot of Skewer. trouble. That time he finds him. Uro had already used... That rebound. Caught down, but doesn't. Power there. With... But the tri lane's working, and they've actually swapped. Now, bottom, mid gank, Foxy. Tipsy a little bit. Fraction one. Now, Just hastening the end. Points in the Kraken up there. Five as long as possible. Dogs! Level four. I, I feel like this is working out. Yeah, uh, across the board. I yeah, really like the setup. Yeah, this is what they did the other day when they looked. Was uh, trying to throw even Isha perhaps. A lot harder to land the rebound, as we know. Level one rebound went from completely broken to being extremely underwhelming. Yeah, she can catch Isha. Oh, okay. He just it's, walked away. He's gonna grab him back though. Tries to find the kill. He does have flame guard still going. In fact, oh, more. 
Very low with the TP coming in for Boxy. Can he get there in time? The charge for the block off. Moves on in. The slight for the finish. No more. Oh, and a pretty rotation comes on in. And Boxy. Kuro away from the water rune as well, too. He's trying to maybe save it for Emperor Spirit. Can he's pinging. He's trying to zone Kuro. Oh, he's Kuro. gonna get it for Dang. Wait, a rebound? Oh, just go off the range creep. Yeah, Bo Boxy's pinging. He's yeah. in a stupid range creep. But, nah. Try dive. Uh, Great uh, rotation. Boxy. Slight dodge Gosh. on the rebound. <laughs> he needed to <laughs> it's very telegraphed, it's very short range. From 800 range to 450. Glad we've seen it. So now that it looks like they're gonna probably move Boxy down bottom again. Still could... You're welcome! Trap again. Five, though. Kraken, and is that going to be enough to keep him alive here? Trying, trying desperately, and it's actually getting MC alive. Nice. Charges. Chainmail, Brave Man. Vicky actually tried to, he tried to sidestep the initial anchor. That was perhaps. <laughs> Slow, though. Side blade. Items. Got it. Five and thirteen. Likewise, a lot of denies up on the top. They planted. Radiance middle They're pushing the limit, man. Catapult's still alive. Getting a gun, good chunk of damage. Ah! Nia, ah! uh, level six on Nisha. Root in the rundown. GH right. in trouble. Going to pop. No light lasts forever. Even though they ran the tri lane, that Zai, he's about to be level. He's level four. He got pretty. He's at the same farm as the Tide, so that this tri lane for. Top. Soul ring, go, get the bottle refill. Level six, half point. Hard to make it go on today. And with the three guard, Nisha's holding the next point. Maybe the aggressive move happens and he gets dead. He can point and play, and they will not be able to break. Really does suffer to break. Shockwave back in super. Still hunting, LSA. For it. The rebound. That was not yours. Sakura was probably telling Sumail to go. Back up. <laughs> Bid. That fourth point of play. Yeah, they can't go. With these three heroes, if, even if they latch him, unless it's like under tower and they have the pistol, they can't. Get I don't really see the max flame guard fucked in anymore. Magical damn. Try lanes think end up a little now you're in a city. Like Tide has six and go average all the other. Ooh, Amar. Side of those shards there. Oh, and this is a body to that too. If they find this kill, they can turn immediately into taking out the stack. Holds back a bar. It's going to drop. And do they want to go for it? That's flame guard. I mean, this is a lot of damage. Sumail there trying to whittle it down a little bit too. I mean, they can get even some of these. The feed bolt is out. Try and bring it down a little bit low. Sticking in the area. Tap that echo. They try to go for the that the level yeah. eight Isha flame guards back up in five. Yeah, they're gonna be able to claim some of this. And GH uh -oh. it up already. Steal a couple of them there. Some good damage. Can they go in on this? Kuro gets a good pullback. Mar has a good opening here. If he can find him with a snowball, he dodges away some of that damage, keeps him alive. They don't have the damage to burn through that flame guard, though. They have already killed the Tusk. 
Now Zai moving in. The RP's ready. Connects only onto Sumail, but it might be enough. Pulls him away from Amar. They find that kill. Oh, now Amar. Himself. Dude, Liquid, they keep going for more. Amar has to be himself. careful. The best they player? give the tip over. Mickey liking what he's seen. A huge contest, and now Liquid up to the goal. Their brains are so... I mean, the flame, <laughs> honestly, just the max flame guard is, is... It seems like it's something like common kind of thing, but it's actually so smart. He can just play so aggressive. They can't break it. Whittles down everybody on the side of Nygma. And they take... I believe they took almost every single stack. The snowball, flame guard, slight, etc. I think they go... Now the shards block. This is going to be a good chunk of damage coming out from Nisha, but they did lose Insania. Dodges the rebuke. Nisha is a remnant away. Those Radiant's middle tower off is under down. attack. Setting this up. Take old. Perhaps now they might be telling him they might need him. Oh no man, he's not able to join the fray. Tower alive too, and they're gonna go for base boots. So watch that little bit of extra armor. All about, it's all about Sumail, right? Yeah. Give him sidekick, give him plaids, pop him up as well. Liquid seems to just be Radiant's middle adapted. tower. Scenario They're hitting mid tower. TA is gonna be able to farm while they crush him. Radiant structures are very fortified. successful early. Uh, and he also, the amount of meat stacked up right now. Liquid can take the tower, gives them radiant on it. That's the Nisha. He does get caught, but then slips away. And, well, Sleight of Fist dodges the rebuke. Nisha just walks away from that arena. You hang on to the tower. Important thing for Nick Galaxy, but it's. Up, you're getting this farm now. Perhaps that should help. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. The boxy, the shards block off the tag team. The big hits. MC, he doesn't have mana, doesn't have mana for Ravage. Has it now? Snowball in, tries to get away and do what damage he can, but gonna just drop. Points in the melt. A lot of big damage. Dyer's middle Tied. tower is under attack. Three man rotation with tag, with tag team. It's three. Boxy. Down. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Better rotation. Dyer's Eight middle tower. Top tower is under too. Dyer's actually barely had his top tower hit. Oh, oh very difficult for them to actually pressure him up. They play too far, even on some. Oh, there's a tumbler's toy. Zai could potentially even tumbler's RP skewer. Oh, and he's going to get him right there. The dream. Dude. <laughs> I mean, Tumblr's toy on some heroes is... Oh, they're fucked. <laughs> it's pretty up. I saw the Tumblr's and I see it. I'm like, oh, he's, he's got the opportunity. Oh, yeah. Nisha. And Nisha, Arcane Ruin. He's on to two. I mean, they want to take the stack with MC now because they need to take it with somebody. It's such a big stack of Ancients. Yeah, they, they have to bring it. They're waiting for an opportunity. That's with Mickey nearby. If they leave the stone, and that TA can even. MC, I think MC. Died. Everybody, they all five heroes. I think we have to play over. Says for Liquid, they can split up and farm a little bit better if they're not going to look. Show they'll give up back, but they're going to get their own farm. Everybody, make. <laughs> Mel, going to start to catch back up here. Trying to give as many of the last hits over to him. And Radiant's bottom still. tower is under attack. There for MC. Well, now caught up at least above Zai. Mine is truly a blessed but His life. levels are lacking. Right? He was playing in this tribe lane. He was <laughs> moving a lot. He's around level 8, almost 9. Mick is about to be 12 on this team. Almost has the Nesso finished. Have great ways to get on the team. Us, the Ember with the Mag having some game. In the past, no. The talk Magus about this TA Lena matchup. He can swing so fast if TA is gonna talk about like how tank has been throughout this. Whereas See? GH is gonna get ran down by Foxy a little bit here. The TP rotations, two of them coming in. No ball away. If they can get out with Foxy, I mean it's gonna go down here. But 
heroes in the bottom lane. Very, I guess expecting more heroes, yeah. but a very... Foxy getting too... Radiant's top little... tower is under Down attack. Much. Our scan. Getting mid and top, checking the stacks. <laughs> Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. What I was gonna say though is like <laughs> invisibility. Obviously, it's very tanky, but it feels like there's gonna. He's just not gonna have that much armor, and in fact, if a bar just gets caught right here, he's gonna need to be that bulwark in front of everybody. Great shard! The Ravage does connect onto a couple, but the follow-up damage isn't really there. They kill off Nisha if they find any more side. Oh, you hold them back in! The RP connection! The damage from the Death Zone! They get them back to Ryan Turnip, but look at the damage from Mickey! Run down, looking for the Ultra Kill. They got him in their sights. And Zai gonna be forced to clean up. Rubik Fade Bolt, but four go down for two. <laughs> A perfect catch. Look at the damage from TA. 4,000 damage in this fight. Perfectly lined up for the side blades. Has Power opened up also. Wow. Beautifully done. Even though they get connected, I think four heroes, or five even. Four or five heroes getting hit by the Ravage. Zai makes up. He's just, look at the sentry. Oh. Look where the position of that sentry is in the team. Just catches the bar for a second. Up right there, and of course, you know, the full commit there on the Nisha. It looks good for a moment, but then Zai just moves in. The perfect skewer pulling in for the RP, and, and you know, Mickey is just free. TA is massive. Level 4 no, team, Desso, Blink, Roche opened up. No rabbit to Big run. They can't contest this. Like you said, the, the rabbit on down. They can't get Radiance top attack. It's like, yeah, sure, you killed Nisha. But that's the you know, they have to so much to kill this enemy right now. He's in town for more. They're right on top. Get some caught with the shards. Toxie on point with that one. You're seeing too, like, the power on the Ember Spear. You're throwing in power on the TAs. The damage. A little bit in these fights. Yeah. Now, Radiant's now top so top close. Top now, top. now even a stolen it. The little... Huge damage. Radiant's the top top the back line. Now they have. How do they solve this TA? They haven't been able to at all in this game. Five zero. Mickey has the gap close. Made him first. Unbelievable. And he's even adapted. So last game he did max nice strike array. This time he's got more of the point. That's so they. But it doesn't matter. The game is now. The game actually almost possible. Radiant's bottom tower. Very is much under there, attack. swinging over eight to one. But it feels outright. I mean, to me, the big thing that I'm seeing. What do Enigma map? How do they take fight? Because it feels like it's not really there for the. I don't want to keep coming on. Uh, it sort of feels like it needs to be a bar, but he's going like trying to scale build the halberd that too radiance top yeah, tower it is feels under like they attack. just lack they lack so much sure they've got the big fight ult but they have any damage follow up with it doesn't do that much at this point try lane two level something like that. not coming out in time and well liquid your vision this is about as good as it can get right on top of them do they have enough damage to bring it down the snowball save at the last second but Nisha is still gonna die in the stolen Luna Blade, but look at this fight! Mickey runs ev to everybody, blows up the Lina, now trying to chase down GH the Bell, strike a couple more punches at Mickey on the job, finding that blinding light, the runaway, okay, and keeps him alive. And that was about the best that you could hope for. If you don't have initiation, just let them run into you. Yep. Mickey okay, quick fingers, gets the blink before the light strike array hits him, gets on top of Lina. Have a good amount of healing that didn't come out, I believe, with Radiant's illuminated stuff from TH and even the Mac, but not enough to keep up that Lina. Radiant Blast Tania lines up the illuminate and steal the on top. Tania just He's so good at, so good on this. I think it's something else that you know, I've been seeing them with their nature's prophet, Die. with their I think these might just be the best heroes. Uh, so good at making it look Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh, I Radiant's first bottom tower is under attack. <laughs> just kidding. Got Blink Dagger already too, so yeah, just wants to deal with a little bit of that physical. 
feel like he's gonna change. Alright, like. I love the medallion. What's really good with that stuff? Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Incredible. He's almost double. The bottom lane. Hey, okay, but it's Nisha who's taking all the spells. Right? Nisha's running in like a crazy person, taking everything, dying, and then big. They know exactly Radiance how to play off. Okay, Nisha. She's old. Finds a courier. Finds a hero. And oh, Amar, the Turtle Blade rooted. The rest of the team abandoning ship. As Amar is still alive, gets that arena down, but the snowball now. Jason Ward misses the spear, and Boxy gets the cleanup. Snow says no. That one hurts. They've been playing very quick how they collapse on the map. They still have Aegis. Let's fight with some Ravage. BKB now. Oh my god. Spots. As it seems, like to right on top of him. Now the shards are there again. The walrus punch, the snowball, everything. They're gonna come on in and find the need Ravage to turn. But they gotta be careful. But was able to cover that one with the gush. Well played by the tide, and they do manage to bring down two. Die pulls him in a little too close. Again. Well, get that Ravage off. That could have gone terribly. Get some type of nice kills, but still look at map once they get out of it they have pushed it's all their lanes gonna be respawning no ravage available they're gonna hit hard they're looking to play around their vision radiance middle tower is under attack they're being a cmr they have to be careful how close radiance middle tower the ready. is under attack Take a fight in less than walked into. Well, it did happen. Yeah. Lift, the pullback, the RP moves them right into position, and this time up on the high ground. Hell did not stand up. Better self steal. He also cues the better item. No! Radiance middle tower is under attack. He has enough gold for it right now. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I mean, if he had shard there, he could have perhaps saved the Radiance Nisha. middle tower. I mean, he didn't have the gold. You can see why. They've been so good about playing with these, like, little big cards so often. Never refuse gold to give it. I've been advocating it. Regardless, these players are actually thousand gold. Finishing the B allows him to get more ham. Yeah, now he's unkillable. If he gets BKB off, he just won't die. Six targets. They already can't play guard anyway, and he can run into the face of this. Map feels. They're allowed to go. That little point. When they don't have Ravage, it's like aggressively to die. Very reluctant to walk up here because he's skewer play if Dai's been able to go up as a unit. Double halberds are ready. That one fit right as they were who have vision here. See everything. Body nymphs. Taunts there. Oh. Back. Radiance oh, middle they, tower they see him smoking. They, they saw that smoke. And MC, he's gonna walk right out, breaks the smoke face, will walk away, LSA. Oh, Boxy. Now shards connect, keeping him out of the fight. Nisha just popped the PKB, ready to run it, ready to fight. Big Ace mail. on top of Sumail, has to run away. The chase is there. The disarm comes out. He's still alive for the moment, but now the to try and turn it with the Ravager. So an anchor smash, a good connection to keep him alive, but Mickey ran a run right in front of him. Waits for the disarm, but it didn't matter. Liquid take them all down, and Nygma don't find a kill. Unreal. The buyback, this is going to be a dieback. This is good towers. 
Scorpio's game. <laughs> There's, they use everything. Can't get any connection. Sumail has no space to breathe. He tries the BKB. They get the halberd, as you mentioned. But it doesn't matter. They stick on him. Then Zai. Four-man RP there. He's playing like a... There by those shards right at the start, and they're just allowed to do whatever they want. Yep. BKBs just get popped, they just go straight on to the only damage dealer that there is. Then, Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Even if he misses, Radiant's middle right there, it's going really rough. And then, see, he's done a good job, he hasn't given up rabbit once in this game, but it just Radiant's feels like apparently the, the game that they're playing is in favor of looking way too clean. Everything's in the laning phase. Like, Nygma tried something, they go for this aggro try lane, but look how farm Zai is. Look at that, this Magnus has been able to have. This was safe lane mag, kind of left alone on his own, and Zai has landed three-man RP, a two-man RP, and a four-man RP. Kind of perfectly on those targets. Under Not with any damage. Yeah, they just, they know which targets to go for. Beautiful to watch. All tour, no mercy. Now, on relatively quick, the dust right in the pit of and fight. out of tension right now. Ugh! 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 There were blink daggers. There aren't. Answers. Right in. Find MC. For the punch. No Not more staff. Nothing to keep him away. To pop that BKB. The rundown is there for the rest of the heroes. They already think they can take down MC. And in fact, they're right about that one. Should keep the chase off. Liquid all over a bar. It's brought down. Foxy keeps looking for another kill. They don't even need it right now. Sumail, he's caught. So be careful here. They're thinking about chasing. Radiant's up quite a few jump. Nisha still poking. Radiant's down solo. Foxy jumps in, and there may be a little bring him down. Just with a fight there. The snowball, the dodge, the spear, so in arena. Liquid all over Nygma. They don't stand a chance. Amar stuck in his own arena. It's given over a triple kill for Nisha, and Liquid remain dominant. Everything good? <laughs> Literally, Radiant's the way they play around the map, the way they identify like how they Radiant's want to play in laning phase as well too, it's yeah, it's beautiful. This last big member I feel was absolutely Nisha, he's sacrificed himself perfectly a couple fights, but even White has been consistent as a top net worth. Yeah. Him and Misha, him and Mickey, I mean all three corners, everybody on the side of Liquid just so well up. Together in spice. Radiance well, middle they are pushing out that top lane, but Radiance middle tower quit. is under attack. For a moment there, we're continuing. Uh, might head back in it. Central ward down means a melt strike, unlike unless I can get it. Just gonna stay. You guys get it. We have everything. <laughs> Disarm, but the hit. Ends up there, Boxy runs through the rebound of the snows. Boxy will get stunned and well, gets brought down low for the kill. All right, your four towers also gonna drop. Zero gonna wait together. Play careful. Uh, Tania has stolen his cloak now, too, so far grab this thing. Careful. People. Die, he's ready, he's in position. If they step out too far, they'll get punished. Looks like they're finally gonna back. His famine help. Regeneration. Uh, it is all. Again, these items, they've just stuck on them for so long. Mars is passed up by Rubik. Radiance top I get passed up by Foxy. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> the white liquid just. That was those RPs. Yeah, they're stuck on these items. Stuck in the base, can't get any harm. Radiance top tower has fallen. Left on the ground, but a garbage. Mark. 
find an arena. Find an arena. Can't get an issue. Fuck it, buddy. Just have to like waddle in and he might just die to do it. Die. Or scanning. Or he gets pulled out of position. Now, even an Ag Scepter for Nisha, level 18, and on top of that shard he picked up. Radiance middle tower has and fallen. And he's gonna start hitting the ancient Radiance unless they come and deal with him. This attack. guy's pretty strong. Foxy nearby, ready for the catch. They pull back. The Rubik, Nick A perfectly Radiance fine with tower everything tower that's happening right now. They didn't left on Aegis. Fraction that. Okay, then they make a little tower. They wanted to be handy. They wanted just to just delete the with the Magar Proper objective point. Shadow Amulet. Radiant Tower goes tower. down, and they go forward for more. Oops. Radiant Radiance Ancient. Shadow is Amulet. Back to the seat. Tower is already gone. Melee racks fall here. Out. So there's just it's, it's <laughs> melee the <laughs> pressure. Jump in! Stop. They pull him down. MC. Well, actually. Alive for a moment, they can't get inside that arena, but he should can. He should definitely can. They find a bar, he's gonna die. Doesn't have buybacks, two buybacks, MC and Burrow. But the kill on design, maybe that's gonna be enough to finally force him back. For a key fight. Radiant Sunbration is Burrow can jump attack. on him. Flame. <laughs> or will they? Even getting the skill damage on the MC with that oh, pull through. The <laughs> MC just has to run out of there, but they are going to get mega 34,000 gold lead in 31 minutes. Finally, it looks like this one is going to be closed out here. Ready to drop. Just not in a token. Their way to a victory. I don't want to give up. And it's the agent, and it's being hit. Nobody there. LSA connects on the MC. Mickey keeps on beating it down here. They have to do something eventually. Trying to move on out and take a fight. The LSA from Sumail, but then jump in from Nisha. Finds it, dodges the Ravage, gets hit on the backside. And yeah, now he's run away. Getting hit. The Ravage comes out from Insane. Yeah, a couple sideways connected. Dying in the fountain. Not the game is over. Kill to end it out, and uh, uh, liquid still look like liquid.